My dad wanted me to come to Youngstown State. I wasn't interested in playing football anymore, but um, he called the coach here, uh, Ray Dempsey, maybe Narduzzi in the 74, I can't remember, but they weren't quite interested in me at all, saying, yeah, we got a, you know, a bunch of guys that are six foot tall, 185. So my neighbor, Dick Rezik, was actually the roommate with Jack Murphy at Heidelberg College. And Jack Murphy was the head coach at the University of Toledo. And he would call him up and says, hey, I got this kid that could run, he could dunk, he could do all kinds of stuff. You gotta at least take a look at him. So one day my dad packed me in a car and we went to Toledo and, uh, and I'm going, why are we going? He goes, we're gonna go check out the school. And I was not happy with it. I met the coaches. They said, yeah, we'd love to have you. I became a walk-on. I went there and I had a pretty good career there and I ended up graduating from there. 74 through 79. I did have a red shirt year. I suffered a neck injury um, my freshman year, but continued to play. Sat that year and came back and played three straight years. Uh, was the captain, was all conference. I was fortunate I got to start in all 44 games that I played in and uh, made a lot of tackles. This great story when I was a freshman, when we were handing out equipment the very first day, um, the seniors all got their equipment. They're all getting brand new stuff then the juniors, sophomores, freshmen, then the walk-ons. And the, as I come up and get my stuff, he asks, what size shoe do you wear? I start 12, he gives me two different sizes of shoes and they weren't even the same kind. I got you socks, baggy pants, and, uh, and I go, these aren't even the right shoes. And he goes, don't worry, you'll be giving those back to me at the end of this week. Meaning a lot of those, all the walk-ons quit. I think I was the only walk-on in 1974 that actually made it uh, to the season. I started out as middle guard as three games, then I went to um, inside linebacker for the rest of that year, and then I came back the last three years as an outside linebacker, defensive end style walk off. So it was a lot of fun. I was somewhat fast and I could jump high, you know, I tried to block punts, block and field goals, but that was kind of my thing. Jack Murphy was our head coach, um, it was great. After my freshman year, he called me in the office and um, they offered me a scholarship, so I took the scholarship. My dad was very excited and um, yeah, I come back and played for, in, I want to say it was in 1978, uh, Coach Murphy left and a guy by the name of Chuck Stobart, who was the offensive coordinator at Michigan, came down and took the head coaching job at the University of Toledo. It was a different time in the 70s. Um, Jack was all about uh, fight hard, gut it out. Uh, my freshman year was the first time we got water at practice from what I heard. In 1973, a young man by the name of Tony January died on the practice field, there was no water. My freshman year as a walk-on, I do remember that the seniors would drink first, then it was obviously the juniors, sophomores, freshmen, and then the walk-ons. And I was in the end of the line with the rest of the green weenies and we had our name on our helmet. And then after we got water, uh, Jim Nice, the trainer, would put his foot on the bucket and kick it over like, okay, that was it for a water break. There was a guy from Alliance whose name is Aaron Bivens. He was one linebacker, I was the other. And for three years, we played together. And, and currently, he is the number one all-time leading tackler. And I am the number two all-time leading tackler after 30-some years.